Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and my videos help you to enhance and nurture both your inner and outer beauty. Now, as you know, I live in Dubai and I've actually been here for 12 years, which sounds crazy. It honestly feels like it's just been a few years, but I don't know if that's a symptom of just getting older or loving your life or maybe a combination of the two. But anyways, I try to infuse bits and pieces of my life in Dubai just to share the lifestyle and kind of what expat life is all about in my videos. And I did make one particular video, I think it was over last summer, and it was called My Life in Dubai. Anyways, from that video, I received so many comments, People were finding me on Instagram and DMing me, and I even received some emails from women all over the world saying to me, I'm thinking of moving here. Can you please just give me an idea of you know, what it's like? Can you, do you have any tips and tricks? What should I consider? And I mean, the list went on and on. So I've been wanting to make this video for a little while, and I've sort of outlined a few general topics, guidelines, that you should consider if you're thinking about moving here. Or even if you have just moved here, you might find some little pieces of information that are actually quite useful to you. So just to give you a bit of a background about me, so you have sort of a frame of reference of how I'm seeing things and where I come from. I'm from the USA, if you can't guess by my accent already, and I'm from Connecticut. I moved to Dubai from Chicago, and I was 26 at the time that I moved here, and that was in 2009, so I'm 38 now. And I moved with my husband, and I was 11 weeks pregnant. Well, fast forward 12 years, I think it's 12 years, 11 years, whatever. I have two kids, they've both been born here in Dubai. They've been growing up here, they're both 11 and nine now, and we are just loving the expat lifestyle. So I'm going to start going through just a few different topics that I think would be very useful to you. Just, you know, take some notes along the way if you feel the need to. So first and foremost, it's really important that you know what you're going to be doing with your life career-wise when you come here. Whether you are going to be, you know, on your own as a single woman, with a career if you're married and you and your partners are each gonna have a job, or if you're going to be stay at home and you're not going to work, but your husband or your partner is going to work. These things matter because money is a big deal out here. And I am not kidding when I say that because life is very expensive, rent is very expensive, water bills, electricity, and there are a million little fees here and there that you never think are coming and they come and these things add up. So I'm not sure what it is for you, but back in 2009, one of the big things going on were expat packages. So when your company asked you to relocate to Dubai, which is what happened with us, my husband, he's an engineer and his company asked us to move out here. They offered us a package and within that package, there was money allocated for rent, for water bills, and we knew exactly what we would have to pay for and what the company was covering. Now, there are people that come out here with no packages. And in that case, you're going to pay everything out of pocket. And that's when you really need to, really need to think about where you wanna live and what type of place you wanna live in. What are your expectations versus what is the reality? So I cannot personally tell you what, you know, your, if, whether or not you're going to have a package or what that's gonna look like for you, but that is a big part of moving out here. And first and foremost, you need to understand exactly how much money you'll be making and what the company is going to do for you, if anything, on top of that. So one woman had asked me, she was thinking about working out here as a server in a restaurant, and she's from the US. She was working in the service industry there. She was a waitress at a restaurant and a company had said to her, do you wanna come out here and work? So she had asked me what I thought about that and she said, you know, Lauren, they're offering me accommodation and transportation and this whole list of things. And I said to her, well, first of all, 
keep in mind that this is not a tipping culture because one thing about Dubai is you have people from all over the world here. Almost everyone from Dubai is from somewhere else and from all those different countries, some countries are heavy on tipping like the USA, some do not tip at all. So if you're working in the service industry, you can never rely on tips because you don't know if the party that you're serving at a restaurant is even from a country that would consider tipping. So keep that in mind. Also, I do know that a lot of restaurants, they will end up pooling all of the tips together and you get a percentage of that at the end of the month. So, you know, these are things that you need to sort of look into and dig into. Don't assume it's going to be exactly like the way it is in your home country. Also, when you have a job that's offering you accommodations, really look into what those accommodations are because you might see pictures of Dubai and assume that, you know, you're waterfront or close to the water at least and you're in a real hopping, buzzy place. And you may actually be somewhere way far out in the desert in sort of a compound concrete building and it is not what you expected. So what I'm saying is when it comes to the career and your career offers and options, really, really, really do your research and make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Don't assume it's going to look like the pictures that the company is showing you or the pictures you see online of Dubai. Make sure you know what you're actually getting yourself into. Now, the second thing I wanna talk about is actually making friends. And after this, we'll talk about men. <laughs> if you're wondering about men, I will tell you about the men. But making friends, because sometimes, especially if you're someone that's a little bit more introverted, if you're not really sure even how to make friends, and now you're moving to this whole new country, maybe you're on your own, maybe you're with a partner, but you think to yourself, how am I going to meet people? Well, first of all, keep in mind that everyone moving to Dubai is in the same boat as you. Mostly it's either couples or singles and they're moving here with the intention of staying here for two to three years. And they're here to just, you know, have fun and to experience life. Well, for friends, for females, it's important for us to have our girlfriends. And when I first moved out here, I had so much self-doubt. I didn't even know self-doubt was a thing, but I had some serious, serious self-doubt and I hated meeting people. And I felt like there was this wonderful person inside of me, but I was so afraid of rejection. And especially rejection when it came to females, that felt a hundred times worse. So what I did, now I'm gonna do kind of a then verse now because I will say it's completely different. Social media didn't exist really when I first moved out here. But what I did was I joined different groups. Now I was pregnant, so I joined some mummy bumps and babes groups. And that's actually how I met my first sort of group of friends, which felt wonderful at the time. Nowadays, it's a lot easier to meet people. And my suggestion to you is to get on Facebook groups. Facebook groups are huge in Dubai. So off the top of my head, I can tell you there's a big one called That Dubai Girl. And on that group, I have seen women who are looking just to you know go out and meet some other women that night, meet up at a bar or a restaurant, wherever. So you have to just push yourself and just go and do that and just start networking, you know, and be very self-advocating. There's another group called the Big Beauty Scoop, and actually the founder of the group is a good friend of mine, but that group is, I think, up to 17,000 women, and you can get on that group, and they do lots of events and get-togethers, and you know, you can just start to talk to people, and you can start online, and then move it offline in a group setting when you feel comfortable. You can find Facebook groups based on the area you end up moving to. So for example, if you move to the Dubai Marina, there's probably going to be a Facebook group for the building you live in. There'll be a Facebook group for Dubai Marina people. There'll be, you just type in, go to groups on Facebook, type in Dubai Marina and everything will pop up. If you're a mom, there's lots of moms groups like Dubai Moms, British Moms Dubai, that's a huge one. And I mean, there's literally groups for everything. If you like photography, if you like going out to brunches, if you like hiking, if you like water sports, if you like painting, if, I mean, you get what I'm saying. There are literally groups 
for everything. So get on that and just start, you know, say hi, you know, I'm new here, blah, blah, blah. And when there are little events, push yourself if you have to, but show up. Half of life is showing up. Show up and see what happens. And you know what? If you're someone who feels, oh, I'm so timid for that sort of thing, it will make you feel a little bit braver every single time you do it until you get to a point where you feel confident in yourself and you can just go and do anything. Trust me, these days, I am, I'm actually, I feel like I'm finally me. Does that make sense? I'm finally the person I was always meant to be. I am right now for Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine and I do a lot of presenting and all this different type of stuff. My life has completely changed. But going to Dubai was that big step for me. It just made me so much more confident and comfortable with myself. So Facebook groups are the way to go. I also highly recommend starting an Instagram account if you don't have one already. And you can kind of shape it around hobbies of yours because that's another great way to meet people. And not that I'm saying go meet people off you know, the internet type thing, but you know what I'm saying, you'll end up finding groups, groups of interests and different sort of clubs almost that you can join. And then you're going to be around people that you already have something in common with. So I really do recommend though, starting some sort of bloggy thing on Instagram. You don't even have to show your face if you don't want to, but it's just one more step into getting yourself into that Dubai community. And out here, everything runs on social media. It's all about Instagram. And it's all about TikTok too, which I'm trying to figure out, but I don't think TikTok is necessarily something that you can meet people off of, but Facebook groups, I would say are king. It's Facebook groups are huge out here. So once you get in the habit of making friends and you start finding little niches, you will find that out here, it's very much the culture of, hey, I'm doing this, come along with us. I'm doing this, come, come, come. And all of a sudden, You'll go from knowing nobody to having six different invitations for a brunch on one day. And you're gonna think, what do I do? And how did this happen? And it does happen quite fast. So just keep that in mind. And also remember that this is such a special place to be and you will literally be finding yourself sitting at a table with this whole new group of friends and one's from South Africa, one's from England, one is from Brazil, one's from Australia, one is from Spain, one's from the USA, and it is incredible. I grew up in a very homogenous community, so everyone was just the same. It was like carbon copies of each other. So for me to have just sort of this diversity and just all these different cultures and people around me was, uh, it was delicious. <laughs> That's how I would describe it, delicious. And you know what's funny? It does not matter where you come from, where you grew up, we all have the same stories. At the end of the day, we're all sitting around the table complaining about guys, complaining about family, you know, all these sorts of things. So some things you'll realize are quite universal. Now on to guys, I just mentioned guys. Let's talk about the men. I had put up a little question on my Instagram. I have an Instagram account that it's not huge, but it's active here in Dubai. Well, I mean, it's anywhere, but I'm based here in Dubai. Anyways, I had put up this question and it said, um, I'm making a video on tips and tricks for women moving to Dubai. Do you have anything to put in there? More than half of the comments were from single ladies complaining about the men. Let me explain this to you. First of all, there's a lot of pressure to look good here. There is a lot of pressure to look good to look your best. And you know, you can go to the Dubai mall in the middle of the day wearing your full out eyelashes, you know, your fake lashes and dress to the nines and it is totally normal. Anything here goes. What you will not see are sort of those memes that you'll see on Walmart of people dressed in their pajamas going out to the stores. That does not happen here. Here you wanna look good. There are women from all over the world here and everyone is beautiful. And as far as the bodies go, curvy is in, slim is in, kind of anything goes that way, but it's about dressing yourself up. And when you go out to these different functions, now this is, I'm saying for your single, if you're married and you're still curious, I, I'm not judging you, but 
uh, when you go out to these events, especially if you, you know, you want to have a boyfriend, you want to meet someone, you have to keep in mind that there are women from every single country, women from with all different types of exquisite beauty out here. So there is just this pressure to look good. And for men coming out here, it's kind of like a kid in a candy store, but it goes both ways, which I will tell you in just a minute. But, you know, I think a lot of people come out here with the intent, a lot of singles come out here with the intention of being here for only two years. And they're not necessarily thinking about settling down, finding the one. And they want to kind of just play the field. And like I said, there's lots of beautiful women and they want to just, you know, have some fun. Now, for women, women come out here and Dubai has lots of wealthy men. So like I said, it goes both ways. So a lot of women will be constantly looking to upgrade the man in terms of his wealth. Now, these are general stereotypes, so keep that in mind. This is not everyone by any means. But you will see when you're out here and you start talking to people and talking to your girlfriends and there, there's patterns and these patterns are true. So men end up thinking, okay, well, she's going to be after me for my money. And the girl's thinking, okay, well, he's probably also talking to 10 other girls at the same time. Now, with all that being said, so what I'm saying is it's not the easiest place to find someone to settle down. As I'm saying this to you, I can think of probably 10 people off the top of my head that have met their partners and settled down. However, that's 10 out of maybe 200. You know, so it isn't the biggest amount, but of course it's definitely possible. I know tons of people that I've met out here, not tons, 10, but I have known people that have met and found the one out here and they've gotten married and this whole thing. But then there's also the the whole sort of finding your match and then your match is from maybe Australia and you're from England or Brazil or wherever you're from and now you have sort of this big cultural difference and you have families in different places and where are you ultimately going to end up. But you know, so there is that component to it as well. But a lot of women, when they did send me those messages, they were trashing the men because they feel like the guys just don't want to settle down. So keep that in mind. Now, I did want to also mention just the laws out here. There are a lot of laws that are probably not similar to the laws that you grew up with. For example, in the US, it's totally normal to go out to a bar, have a drink and drive home. Here, there is a zero tolerance policy on consuming alcohol and then driving. You cannot do that at all and you don't want to get in trouble here. So you do really need to familiar, familiarize yourself with the laws out here and not just sort of turn a blind eye to it because you don't want to accidentally get yourself in trouble. But I will say living out here has been the best experience of my life. It has been incredible. It has changed me profoundly in so many ways that I can't even Oh, I get choked up just thinking about it, but it's hard to articulate. And I find myself at this point where when I go home and people say to me, oh, you know, how's life in Dubai? How it, how, how is everything? And I can have 10,000 things flash in my mind of just amazing experiences, conversations, and just these unbelievably life altering mindset changing experiences and how do you summarize that and tell that to someone you don't so i always just say oh it's great it's wonderful <laughs> and i leave it at that but truly this has been the best experience of my life and if you're considering it i say go for it make it happen make it happen the way you want it to happen and just enjoy the ride because it's been phenomenal. Now I'm going to link you right here to this video of my life in Dubai. You can see me hanging out in the desert with one of my very good girlfriends.